Your CBT questions answered now. It's the NMC CBT with Nurse Mary and your host, Christina. Revising for your NMC CBT. Is your NMC CBT exam date approaching fast? Then your revision is incomplete without the NMC CBT Complete video course. Written by a senior UK registered clinical nurse educator and an experienced NMC CBT tutor. The NMC CBT Complete video course includes easy to follow CBT courses focusing on the exact areas you need in order to pass your NMC CBT in one attempt. It also includes tips and tricks for the CBT exam as well as tried and tested CBT materials and individual progress reports. Plus, our CBT nurses also receive 30-day access to a complete NMC CBT mock examination. Learn more at www.cbtnurses.com. The first module of the course is free. Hello and welcome back to another episode of NMC CBT Discussions with Nurse Mary and me, your host, Christina. Hi, Mary. Thanks for coming back and answering our CBT questions uh, once again. It's okay. Today, we're going to be looking at some Part A questions. So let's get started with episode 12. Let's look at some Part A questions. Question one. During a 24-hour period, a patient has one bottle of water, two glasses of orange juice and one bowl of soup. A bottle holds one litre, a glass holds 300 millilitres and a bowl holds 450 millilitres. They pass urine six times in volumes of 240 millilitres, 100 millilitres, 375 millilitres, 250 millilitres, 437 millilitres and 100 millilitres. What is their fluid balance? Okay, so for this type of question, you first need to add up the intake. So they've had one bottle of water, so that would be one bottle holding one litre. Everything else is in millilitres, so let's make that one litre 1,000. So first we're going to put 1,000 in the calculator. Then it says they've had two glasses of orange juice and a glass holds 300. So we're going to plus 300 for one glass and plus 300 again for two glasses. Then they have also had one bowl of soup. So we're going to add 450 mils for the bowl of soup. That gives a total input of 2,050 millilitres. Now they pass urine. So we will minus the volumes of urine. So minus 240, minus 100, minus 375, minus 250, minus 437, and minus 100. And that gives a total fluid balance of 540. Great, thank you. Question two, a bit of a short one, I think. Um, convert <laughs> 1.7 litres to millilitres. Okay, so that's multiplying by 1,000, so 1,700 millilitres. And question three, convert 16,500 micrograms to milligrams. Okay, so that will be um, dividing by a thousand, so that will be 16.5 milligrams. Okay, on to question four. Calculate how many milliliters of medicine should be given if the patient is prescribed 75 milligrams of pethidine hydrochloride by intramuscular injection. Drug label, pethidine hydrochloride for injection, 100 milligrams in two milliliters. Okay, so for this, you need to use the formula where you are dividing what you need versus over what you have and timesing it by the volume. So that will be 75 divided by 100 times by two. And that gives the answer of 1.5 milliliters. Mills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And lastly for today, question five. Calculate the number of drops per minute to the nearest whole drop 
that's following the infusion should be given if the infusion set delivers 20 drops per milliliter. 496 milliliters of whole blood over four hours. So to answer this question, you need to divide 496 milliliters over the four hours to find out how many milliliters are given in one hour. So 496 divided by four is 124. So you know that 124 milliliters of whole blood will be given each hour. So to find out how many drops per minute, you're going to divide that 124 by 60 because there are 60 minutes in an hour. So divided by 60 is 2.06667. That is your amount of milliliters per minute. So to find out how many, if, if there's 20 drops per milliliter, then you need to times that answer by 20. So that gives you the answer of 41.3 recurring. And to give it to the um, nearest whole drop, that will be 41 drops per minute. Wow, okay. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> and that is all for episode 12. I think we do need a break after that. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much, Mary, for answering all those part eight questions, a little bit longer than the ones we've had before, I think. So yeah. thank you. I really hope that everyone watching and listening at home found the episode helpful. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss an episode. And if you have any CBT questions, part A or part B, that you would like Nurse Mary to answer, please comment below or get in touch with us at IELTS Medical. And we will see you next time.